Good morning, Chargers. On today's show, we'll be talking about photo makeup day, even more college visits, and some volunteer opportunities. I'm Alyssa. I'm Sophia. And, and you're, you're watching, watching DP, DP News. News. Come to the club Give in Miss Johnson's room H25 where they meet on the first and third Tuesday of every month. They will be helping the homeless community of SB. Also, the Special Olympics Club starts tomorrow by the track and will continue every first Wednesday of the month. All students are welcome to meet and support the students who are on our Special Olympics team. If you love to sing, visit P126 on Wednesdays at lunch for open choir. This is a fun club for everyone. You will learn fun songs and make lasting friendships. Photo Makeup Day or Retake Day is tomorrow in the cafeteria from 7.30 to 1.30. If you have not taken or would like to retake your photo, make sure to stop by. Brown University was in the library this morning from 9.04 to 10.02. University of Chicago was here from 9.15 to 9.45 in the Career Center. On Thursday, the University of the Pacific will be in the Career Center from 8.55 to 9.25. Get a pass from the Career Center if you'd like to find out more information about this college. The Carp Avocado Festival is looking for volunteers from the 7th to 9th. All volunteers will receive a picker t-shirt and get some great experience learning what goes into putting on a large scale event. To sign up for shifts, visit the festival's website. Also, the second student senate is meeting today in H30 during fourth period, so make sure your senators attend so you can stay updated on school events. If they are absent, send a replacement to attend the meeting. That's it for us until Friday, Chargers. Now over to Caleb with the sports report. Good morning, Chargers. This morning at 8.55 a.m., Dos Pueblo senior Kiara Pickett and the U-17 women's national team took on the national team from Ghana. Pickett and the rest of the girls will play their third game of the tournament on Saturday, October 8th at 11.55 a.m. against the Japanese national team on FS2. Kiara is also the featured athlete on the U.S. soccer team's website, so be sure to read all about the Dragon Warrior from Dos Pueblos. Yesterday at the Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable Luncheon, junior football players Cyrus Wallace and Michael Elbert received honorable mentions for their efforts last night, last Friday night. Today, girls tennis takes on Ventura at 3, girls volleyball travels to Ventura this evening, and boys water polo has a home game against Buena at 3.15. And on Thursday, girls golf has a match with Ventura. Until next time, I'm Caleb and we are DP. Now over to Edwin with your weekly pop culture news. Hey DP, my name is Edwin, bringing to you your pop culture news. On this day in 1957, Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite, was launched. In appreci <laughs> appreciation for the new movie Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, the entire Harry Potter franchise will be released in IMAX for an entire week, beginning October 13th. In the headlines right now, is Kim Kardashian West scare in Paris, for those of you that don't know. She was robbed at gunpoint of $11 million in jewelry, causing Kanye to rush off stage mid-concert in New York, and Kylie Jenner to leave a Paris fashion show. Lastly, we have news that Lady Gaga will, head, will be heading, headlining this upcoming Super Bowl. That's all for this week, DP. I'm Edwin with Pop Culture. Now over to Sky and Lindsay with your surf and weather reports. Hey 
Hey DP, what's up? The Sky, because I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report and joke of the day. Hey Sky, do you know who created knock knock jokes? No, but I do know he deserves a Nobel Prize. <laughs> This week's temperatures will be a little cooler than last week's, but still windy. Tomorrow we'll reach a high of 80 degrees and a low of 53 degrees with 38% humidity and 11 mile per hour winds. While Thursday's temperatures will reach a high of 80 degrees and a low of 56 degrees with 29% humidity and 11 mile per hour winds. Alongside the weather for this week, Hurricane Matthews' track through Haiti is likely to be a humanitarian disaster, predicts the Weather Channel. UNICEF's team in Haiti is hard at work preparing for the worst. The hurricane has now sustained winds at 145 miles per hour. Today's surf after school is going to be extremely low, only one foot, so after school at 6 today will be a great day to go sea glass hunting or look for some creatures in the tide. Tomorrow and Thursday are other fantastic days to make some plans for tide pooling after school, considering they both have really low tides starting at around 7.30. So go and shred the gnar, my friends. That's all we have for you today, DP. Have a magnificent day.